Good morning, grade 4. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So, in the previous class, we learned about perimeter. So, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the length of the boundary of a closed figure. And we also learned that to find out the perimeter of figures with straight sides such as a triangle, rectangle, a square or a polygon, you have to just add up the lengths of all the sides. And we have seen how to find out the perimeter of a square and a rectangle. So today we'll learn how to find out the perimeter of a triangle or some other polygon. So let's see the first example. Find the perimeter of the triangle. And you can see a triangle with sides given there. So by definition, the perimeter should be the sum of the lengths of all the sides. So which are the lengths here? It is 5 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm. So the perimeter should be 5 plus 8 plus 10, right? So let's see the steps. The perimeter is equal to 5 cm plus 10 cm plus 8 cm. And that is equal to 23 cm. And hence, the perimeter of the triangle is 23 centimeter. I hope this is clear to you. Now, the next example, find the perimeter of the given polygon. You can see a polygon here and it has got the sides 7 centimeter, 16 centimeter, 8 centimeter and 22 centimeter. So, by definition, the perimeter should be the sum of all these lengths. So, let's write the steps. The perimeter is equal to 7 cm plus 22 cm plus 8 cm plus 16 cm is equal to 53 cm. Hence, the perimeter of this polygon is equal to 53 cm. I hope these examples are clear to you. Now, we will see a different one. Find the length of the side whose measurement is not given in the figure if the perimeter is 30 cm. So, what is mentioned in the question? The perimeter of the figure is given and the lengths of three sides are given but the length of the fourth side is not given. You are asked to find out the length of the fourth side. So given the perimeter, how would you find out the length of the side which is not given? Suppose the length of the side which is not given, let it be x. So by definition, x plus 3 plus 12 plus 5 is equal to 30 centimeter the perimeter so how do you find out x you have to add all the other numbers with x and then let's see the steps x plus what is 3 plus 12 it is 15 plus 5 20 is equal to 30 centimeter now we can easily find out x so what should be added to 20 to get 30 how can you find out x from here x is equal to this 30, we are taking this 20 to the other side. So, it becomes, so this plus 20 becomes minus 20 when it goes to the other side. So, x is equal to 30 minus 20 which is equal to 10. So, x is equal to 10 centimeter. Let's see the steps one more time. Let the length of the side be x centimeter. Perimeter is equal to 3 centimeter plus 12 centimeter plus 5 centimeter. Perimeter is given us 30 centimeter in the question which means 30 centimeter is equal to 3 centimeter plus 12 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus x centimeter which is 30 centimeter is equal to 20 centimeter plus x centimeter. So from here we can easily find out x 30 minus 20 is equal to x and x is equal to 10 centimeter. So I hope you understood given the perimeter how to find out the edge of an unknown measurement. So I hope these examples were clear to you. Now we'll see how to find out the perimeter of curved figures. For example, you are asked to find out the perimeter of a plate, which is a curved figure. How do you find out the perimeter of a plate, which is the length of the outer edge of the plate. So to find out the perimeter of curved figures, such as the perimeter of a plate, you can use a string to wrap around the outer edge of the plate. And then when you reach back to the starting point, you have to mark the position on the string. Then remove the string and measure the length of the string using a ruler. And the length of the string will give the perimeter of the plate. 
I hope it is clear to you. Now you have to go through the topic perimeter of other figures and also perimeter of curved figures in page number 142 and 143 of your textbook. Then move on to exercise 10.1. You have to complete the questions question number 1e, e, question number 3, question number 4, question number 5b, 5c and also the questions number 6 and 7 from the exercise 10.1. So once you're done with these questions, you have to move on to the life skills question in page number 145 and also the high order thinking skills question which is in the same page. So children, that's all for today. Hope everything was clear to you. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.